I got about crazy. everything right over and over and over again. So let I literally brag about it on the internet. Tell okay, me well, Neil, let's like let's Neil. do some let's do some projecting here, man. I want to get you sure. to be more right more often. Um, and we're going to talk about 2023. Let's do some predictions here, okay? Oh. 2023, Richard Hart's official predictions. Is bit, $11,000 is bit, Bitcoin will have been hit. Okay. I mean, it, it will be basically, I, usually what happens is the Fed pivots. The, the Fed uses laggy indicators to decide what yep. policy they're yep. going to execute. All comes in piling Because of the them. lag. And they, and they will not, they will not stop raising interest rates early. They won't. Because they tried it once before in the 70s and it didn't work. And then they had to turn it back on and go up to 19%. And right, if, right. They had to take well, interest rates Volkler. to 19%. <clears throat> right. So, well, Volkler took it to 19, but his predecessor was the one that did the fake out. I can't yes, remember. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Great span. So, yeah. No. <laughs> Great span after. That was far later. No. Yeah. So, the. Um, Who was the guy before? The issue Volkler? is his name started with an A. Who cares? So the, uh, the, the trick here is the Fed has told you as clearly as they possibly can, they're going to keep raising rates to hit their 2% yeah. inflation target, period. They've got a dual mandate. Their mandate is 2% inflation. But he only gave us 75 for next year. Everyone's 70. already got you. He's, on, he's yeah, only going to give us 75 for next year. But that still is going to hang around a, lar- a high interest rate, even if you go lethargic on no on no interest rate changes. That's still so you're, you're telling me that economy. like two days ago, he went up half a percent, but over the next 365 days, he's only going to go up a three quarter. I don't believe that. That's what he, that's what he's saying. Well, it that doesn't 75. fit his goal of hitting a 2% inflation rate. It doesn't. My that that, that exactly. contradicts so, the other things that he's saying, which is get ready. He, he's literally like, get ready for a lot more pain. The markets are going to come yeah. down more. So what he's going to do is he's just going to trade your job for lower inflation. Yeah, he's going to put yeah. people out of business. He's going to put people out of work. People are going to lose I think that jobs. starts coming in Q1 and Q2. That's going to sure. lower the These inflation. Jobs. Yeah. yeah, that's going to lower the inflation. Now, here's a question for you. How are you going to make a crypto bottom when everyone's out of work? Oh, what are you talking about? So I, I don't. You've got to sell. Every other time crypto has bottomed, it's been in a quantitative easing environment. Crypto's never it's bottomed in a quantitative tightening. tightening environment before. Yeah. So. Now, look, the crypto will bottom first, in my opinion. But until he pivots, stops raising the rates, and right. then we get the actual market crash. So usually people think the pivot saves you. Usually, historically, the pivot it is then followed you. by the real crash. Yeah, it kills you. And then you get your bottom six months, eight months later, mm-hmm. and then you go up. So yep. 